Welcome, Libra friends, to a very special heart spread reading for Mercury Retrograde using the um, Gilded Tarot Classic, my oldest and favorite deck, Libras. Um, so this is a little different because this is reading the one you just can't get out of your mind. Um, in honor of kind of Mercury Retrograde, maybe you don't, maybe this, you don't have this, but and maybe you're fine. You're single, you're coupled. That's fine, but maybe still there's someone that you don't have closure with. There's someone that stays on your mind. That's what tends to come back at Mercury retrogrades, and I think it's what's most important with Mercury retrogrades for us to, you know, benefit from and not worry about the technology and even about the exes because it's just about uh, our own understanding of what we've gone through, you know, in the past. So I think if there's someone that you're thinking about, so I call it a forensic read, we go back and look at emotionally what's going on. I think it always means something, you know, we don't get attached like that for nothing. So this is not conceived of to be someone you're actually in any kind of relationship with. That would be in the normal heart spread that I do by sign. Um, but this is that sticky wicket, the one that got away. You know, I got one. I, I remember her name. Um, so... Um, just want to get a beat on that before the Mercury retrograde ends. Um, let's see what we get here. So this is going to be you. Page of Wands. This is um, uh, your energy. It's funny. It goes back to a page. Here we go. It's uh, And here you're looking away from the reading. So pretty young. Uh, could be adolescence, 15 years old. Could be teenage years like that. Again, your sexual identity is forming. This is like biology, you know, maturation, Saturn stuff. Here we have a Saturn opposition, maybe. Um, it could also speak to a time when you're 21, because another Saturn square um, moving towards your adulthood at Saturn return when it uh, goes goes around all the way, right? Um, but and I see you kind of looking away. You have this fire to me. It's like early, early adolescence, and it's the energy of like you're you're at a period. Uh, this person you're thinking of, it goes back. This is you, uh, to when you were first feeling the fires of your loins, uh, really first feeling that stir of romantic love. So it could have been you know whatever it was for you. I mean, it was like fifteen for me. It was right on time, you know. So, um, that's who we're going to be dealing with here. Um, seven of Cups in the bottom of the deck. I'll read that lightly now in the hard spreads. And it kind of represents kind of like this confusion. This is what it would be. Emotional attachment to something. It's kind of like a theoretical relationship. Now, I conceive of this. If you're actually in dialogue with these, them, then it's really like a heart spread. You're in a relationship. So let's see what they get. Ten of Swords. Um, seems like they would have been the one to let you go. You know, that's their energy. Um, um, it could have been you let them go. Or it could have been when they came to you, they came to you with an energy of having been shredded up pretty good uh, to start with. Let me see what I get for how you're reacting to this person. Page of Wands, and you're being, this is like being a little coy. You're kind of where you're at, you're a little coy, you're probably a little young, you're wanting it, you're feeling it, but you don't know how to bring it. And then this is, shows the number three positions, how you react to your person now. And the way you react to your person is you are all kind of fired up, and you take actions, and you move towards them. You know, um, if this was in the day of leg drawing, this would be like uh, lots of... Uh, it flying back and forth, but uh, physical attraction to them pouring it on, and yet they're in this state. Now, let me see how they are. Yeah, in the file, I was afraid of something like that. So, the, how they're now, this clearly is how they're reacting to you. You're pouring it on, they're full of passion. But even as you do, the way they're feeling is they want to, you know, strong, conflicting energy with them. And they want to fight. And I have to read this number four. Number three and four is your energy toward them, their energy towards you. So if they're having a five of swords energy, there's something to do with you. And it's like they are rejecting your advances. And you, these would be considerable advances, you know. Um, 
it's almost like you could look at it too, like you overwhelm them. You know, there's eight wands and five swords, to be simplistic about it. Well, then three get through and you take them down. <laughs> uh, but I think it's more of like some kind of disinterest on their part. Like they they think it's too much or it's like they think it's love bombing or it's some somehow they're not well you're not welcome and these are actions so it's like showing up at their doorstep maybe without calling that taking actions um let me see it looks awfully conflicted from their side of it here guys now this is interesting because this is in a position of advice from spirit uh towards this situation we'll call it this theoretical relationship and the wheel of fortune that's jupiter energy that's got to be speaking to jupiter and aquarius right now um it's moving direct and I'm trying to think of what this could be let me look at what their advice is it's going to be wow the high priestess so you have advice from spirit being, you know, the wheel of fortune and the high priestess, the only major con to show up so far in his, and uh, now this is for your person. I think that kind of what this gets at, they were probably far more sensitive than you realized. Um, they could have just had a really bad reaction to your attention for some reason. And this is kind of like, it's corny, uh, rejection is God's protection energy as advice here to you in this relationship. It's kind of like advice that you dodge the bullet and it's like suddenly I got this feeling of like living a whole life with a person and you're full of fire and energy and you show that when you approach them uh, here. And so your Libra has, you know, fire. Maybe you have a Leo in your chart. In any case, uh, and, you know, I think you would have had a life with a person that was kind of like maybe maybe depressed and, uh, it, you know, uh, these kind of things you can't, uh, you couldn't change them just because they were with you. Uh, over time, they, they you know, um, I think it could have been difficult for you so like the because this is a theoretical thing you never got to experience what would have been like so maybe just knowing that the reality of life with them wouldn't be what was your fantasy of how it would be um, the reality of life with them would would be very difficult uh, for you and really uh, they're they're stuck in this energy so i mean you really i don't know how much you could say you would even be benefiting them I think it would be very unfulfilling, and that's what this is trying to say. Jupiter, particularly now, going direct now, it's going to be a slingshot effect, and, you know, it's uh, my planet, my cavalier, um, the great benefic, you know, that's trying to tell you, it's like, uh, kind of the theme of these constantly is like going back to almost adolescence or young adulthood, why am I not surprised, I guess, and, um, you know somehow let go of this energy here and i guarantee you like if you knew how if you under i'm getting the feeling of a life feeling of a life how it feels you know i think that's a problem a lot of times uh when we don't understand like we marry our mother because she was not like my mother but i think what we marry is the same energy we had in our childhood if we felt secure and this and that, we'd marry a person that recreates for us the energy, the feelings of how it felt to be in that childhood environment, you know? So we don't marry the personality. That's what gets you tricky. If you stop and think about how you feel in a given relationship, that it starts to make sense. So let's get advice now as a whole moving forward. Look, start over. What am I saying? It's start over. Boy, and I tell you, when you got the Wheel of Fortune and you got the Fool here, Libra, that's like, uh, you, it's like you can't lose. It's like, uh, pl get a lottery ticket to what the hell. I don't know, anytime I see the Wheel of Fortune, I'm not talking about going to buy a string of lottery tickets, spending your <laughs> grocery money. I mean, going out and dropping a dime, dropping a dollar or something on one ticket, you know, if you think of it when you're filling up or something at the gas station. 
but because uh, this is can be luck can just be lucky energy is coming from the universe and here you just want to start over it's like you want a blank slate here's what the universe is saying this is the advice now moving forwards now now it's like you would recreate a new relationship with this person and maybe you understand them more and you care about them more but it allows you here to detach from them as well uh, in some manner so you'll keep seeing that seven of cups that lack of clarity and look what you get as an outcome the ten of pentacles so as a matter of fact it's this is how you become solid you know it turns out these are very important mercury retrograde brings up stuff within ourselves it's not really about x's not about uh, electronics yeah but really the most the meat of it where i think it's the most helpful it brings up these old thought patterns in ourselves and something you know you had attached to this like you know this rejection and just maybe i think it was probably something along the lines of i could have changed them i could have saved them that we had this such a passionate connection that i know maybe you i i this could have been someone that uh, passed on they they may have passed on and, and you may know this if they did i don't think i'm not trying to be predict you know may commit suicide is what i got so it's like that but if that's a that's a metaphor it's like this strong energy of your like if i could have just done more if i but it like they try and tell you they were closed down and really nothing you can do it's like you could throw all of your wands up against the wall and it's just nothing's going to get through um and then even if I, you had it just would have been a big bummer for you and it wouldn't even have helped them and by letting go and starting over here libra um you get everything the ten of pentacles because i think it's like once you take all your energy and focus it just upon your second house and all that and uh, concentrate on you um, you're even going to get some kind of a break here I think uh, something out of left field nothing to do with this person here this feels like it's coming here Jupiter's going to be good to you um, and put you in a really solid place here if nothing else with ten of pentacles so let me know what you think of that Libras and uh, please do leave uh, a, uh, a like uh, share if you would subscribe